The latest on the potential high-stakes prisoner swap with Russia. Today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken says he spoke with his Russian counterpart, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, to discuss a swap for prisoners Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. And here's what Secretary Blinken said about that. Uh, earlier today, I spoke with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov. We had a frank and direct conversation. I pressed the Kremlin to accept the substantial proposal that we put forth on the release of Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. I also emphasize that the world expects Russia to fulfill its commitments under the deal it reached with Ukraine, Turkey, and the United Nations on grain shipments from Ukraine. And our Patrick Rievel joins us live from Odessa, Ukraine, where he's covering uh, that war. And we're also being joined by ABC News White House correspondent Mary Alice Park. She's in Washington with me. So, Patrick, first, an American initiative, uh, this so-called substantial proposal to exchange this Russian arms dealer in prison in the United States, Victor Boot, for Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan. How did Russia receive this proposal? Hi, Terry. Yeah, to be honest with you, it was a pretty uncompromising statement that we've heard back from the Russians today. I mean, really, most of the focus of this readout that we've heard was not so much on the prisoner exchange, but very much on Ukraine. And basically, uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov said to Anthony Blinken that Russia will achieve all of its goals of what it calls its special military operation here in Ukraine. And he also said that the West supplying weapons to Ukraine will simply prolong uh, what he said, the agony of the Kyiv regime. And so I think basically the message coming from the Russians was very, very much that they're not much interested in diplomacy right now. However, he did say that he would, he asked the Americans to now switch to what he called the quiet regime for talking about the prisoner exchange. And I think what that means is at least that he is willing to continue at least holding some talks with the U.S. on this, on this possible prisoner exchange. But it, but it sounds as if the focus of the Russians was on their war in Ukraine. And Mary Alice, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, coming to the table, he wanted to talk about the Americans being held unlawfully, according to the United States, in Moscow. And it sounds uh, as if, for all of the, the public discussion about this, it's not really going anywhere. Uh, has the White House responded to, uh, to the proposed prisoner swap and the way that, uh, that Patrick is reporting the Russians have responded? Yeah, Terry, I just asked the the White House press secretary uh, during the press briefing just now about this, uh, whether this seemed like it was moving in the right direction, because at least Secretary of State Blinken did have a conversation with the Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov uh, uh, today. And, you know, she really sidestepped that. She, she pointed back to Blinken's comments and said that, you know, where he said he's just not delusional, that, that anything could still happen, essentially. They're trying to be really careful here. But it is just remarkable that so much of this has played out in public, that they've been talking about it so publicly publicly at all. And when you press her on that, you know, is that does that mean that you're getting some of what you wanted, that at least they're coming to the table? Uh, I asked her that, too. And she said, really, the president just wanted to make it clear uh, that he was working on this. That this was such a priority that they're doing everything they can to try to bring Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan home. It feels so much like going public was really a play uh, to people at home and around the world to make sure that they understood that the president was trying to put stuff on the table. Well, let me follow up quickly on that. It, the, the Democrats behind in the polls in the midterms, uh, maybe the president wants to, uh, you know, a little political boost from this. As, as you said and as Patrick has reported, these things are generally discussed in private first and then the deal comes out. Is it possible that the president just wants to look like he's doing something? I know I'm sure he wants to bring these people home, but he doesn't have a win and, and it doesn't look like there's going to be a release any kind, anytime soon. How political is this? I mean, all of this is political, of course it is, especially with someone as high profile, uh, such a celebrity as Brittany Griner. I mean, we've seen uh, all of these stars, just all of these NBA stars, WNBA stars take to TV. I'm thinking back about the, the WNBA All-Star Game when all the women came out there, all the players came out there in their jerseys with Brittany Griner's name. I mean, of course, this is a national headline. She's an Olympian. And so they know that that, uh, that, that only adds to all of this, that it adds to the pub, that the public pressure is just so high to do something. Uh, but look, this is the most sensitive kind of diplomacy that is really ever done. The kind of things we're talking about here, a prisoner swap. And so it is interesting they took this really non-conventional route to go public. It's hard to know how that's going to pan out. And they're still now just really trying to be careful with what they say. All right, Patrick, well, on that issue, it does look, as you reported, like, like there's a lot of work to be done.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.